Hello everyone, my name is Web Weaver, and welcome back to another episode of It's Look Who It Is. Leaving this one kind of late? Leaving this one kind of late? Snooping as usual, I see. Now, we played Ayaka and Toshiaki recently. I'm gonna go vibes on this one. I'm gonna go vibes on this one, okay? We are going to play someone we haven't played in a long time. Kanpai. Somebody who we basically never play, uh, to be honest. And we'll go random perks, and I want Athiola's at so that we just get lucky with like a random spell and just win the game. It's look who it is, baby! What did I say? But uh, yeah, so we're gonna have the... So... I actually, you know, it's funny. I didn't plan this. But the new videos are just kind of front-loaded or back-loaded on the end of the week, aren't they? Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I didn't really plan that, but when I was checking the calendar for, like, the ske to schedule the uploads, I was like, huh. It really is just the Friday, Saturday, Sunday wombo combo. We might try to spread that out a little bit. Maybe. I'm still, I'm still thinking about it. So, how do we want to do this? Well, honestly... This doesn't really matter. This kind of matters, but not really. And so I guess I guess we're just rolling, honestly. I guess we're just rolling. Listen, I I de definitely do not need in any scenario to get a weapon or do anything of any sort of any kind of any sort of anything of any potential thing that could occur in the future. I do not need a weapon. There is no reality. Well, there's no reality with this spell that we're gonna need a weapon. So is that kind of cheating? I don't know. It's The game gave it to me. Like, just the game literally just handed it to me. It was like, alright, there you go. Yo! <laughs> it's how the character was designed. So, you know... Is how Kana was designed as a character. So I I think you just gotta I think you just gotta say it's look who it is and just it's look who it is you know. So Doom is actually how we're going to die, uh, most likely. We don't play a lot of Kana, and to be honest, there's kind of a good reason for why we don't play a lot of Kana. Kana is a character that spe is specifically designed to break the rules of the game. And so when you're wanting to play a game of World of Horror, it's like picking... Mm, oh, I don't know. Like the most overpowered... Well, not overpowered, but like the most all-encompassing... Like... It's the most all-encompassing thing that you can pick. That's the best way that I can put it. And I, I, we do lose some value on the stamina there, and I know we don't technically die, but I feel like that's still overall a better thing to do because it's like five doom, right? That is uh not what you might call it permanent first fight, by the way. As long as we don't misclick once, like that's the the stakes that this run has. You know, maybe maybe I am feeling a little fatalism today. It really does the order really doesn't matter. Get me up against the actually, do not get me up against the fertility idol, because getting up against the fertility idol would mean that we actually do need a weapon of some kind. Because I mean I don't care. I I we don't need a torch. Well actually, the torch is technically a weapon that we could uh beat the villagers to death with, but you just kind of would overall hate to get into a fight that has, uh... Now, fights that have duos, you can typically run away from, except that one. So that would be the only case where we need a weapon, or else we'd be kicking them to death, and that would take, the, the, that would take like, 80 years, honestly. So, how are, how are ways Kana can die? Well, the first way that Kana can die is if you were foolish enough to get zero in a stat. I mean, honestly, I think we're relatively fine with what we're doing here. Another way... So we get two brain damages in a row, we're just dead. 
right? Like, it's just, it's Jover. It's never been more over. Uh, and then the other way that we can die is Doom. And if we take lethal damage, we gain Doom and then full heal in that stat. So if we... Wonderful. I mean, that's actually awful. Not the, the greatest thing of all time that I've ever had to do. But we would honestly, like, welcome the boss. Which, by the way, who the hell was the second enemy? The Kab... It was not... It was Suthashan. All right, all right, all right. Occult signs, running shoes. I mean... I think you take occult signs. Like, this is a pretty big no-brainer. And then we put a point into strength. It doesn't matter. Oh, uh, we will escape because that's sanity. Because we're probably going to have to rest again, I'll be honest with you. Now, we would have liked to get a free weapon here, but... As long as we don't have to deal with Freaky Flood without a weapon, we're probably fine. Now, if this is a boss fight, that's absolutely fantastic. It was not a boss fight. So now we just pray that we dodge Freaky Flood again. For the, We just hope that Freaky Flood's not on this list. Because you see something like Akamanto. You want to kill True Form Akamanto? We haven't done that in a long time. We could, though. I would actually probably prefer that. So we can gather gossip. Uh, does, does anybody have any idea what the hell just happened there? You got the gossip? All right. We're getting a minus five stamina because... Uh... So does anybody want to explain what the hell just happened there? Because I would love for you to explain what the hell just happened there. How with six charisma... Does Kana just get three allies by default? Is that like a Kana buff that like just nobody told me about? I mean, I would rather get plus one knowledge. Dislocated shoulder really doesn't matter. Like, it, it literally is irrelevant to the situation. Can we get into combat to use our occult signs? This is like literally... The best case scenario that Occult Signs could literally ever give you. Uh, period. Uh, you have a spell that you can cast infinitely with no penalty. So yeah, sure. Honestly, probably should have just taken the injury. Because, like, chances are we can just ignore it for the rest of the game. But, uh... Anyways. So... I have been having quite a bit of devious fun recently, okay? So... I have been doing a couple of things related to Warhammer, okay? So I started painting my Night Haunt, and I'm still coming up with the color scheme. And I am pretty, like, reasonably happy with the color scheme that I have. I think it's quite nice. Uh, but I need to finish the model, because I have this, like, really bad habit of basically, like, getting into a situation where... I mean, I guess we're just gonna do that. I have a really bad habit of getting into this situation in uh, Warhammer where I'll like paint half of a model and then be like, well, it's good, finished. And then I'll just look at it sitting there and I'm like, oh, it looks terrible. I guess we take, uh, unironically, daddy's girl over fast swimmer in this very weird scenario. Cause we're gonna heal a lot. And we're not going to take any damage besides the initial Akamanto damage. So, I started painting my Night Haunts, the Chain Rasps specifically, because they're like the least, like, important ghosts, right? They're just, they're just little ghosts that fly around, and they, they be spooky, and they have a bone to pick with you, right? And they just fly around, they do, they do a little floating around. And this is actually not that bad because we should be able to use Bone Spear. Even though you want to do this, like, ASAP, you're still probably all right. Actually, the more health an enemy has, the better. Because that means we get more EXP from casting Ghostly Spear, which is, like, kind of unhinged. It's actually kind of funny, to be honest with you. Plus two additional spell slots, huh? Spell therapy in case we need the healing. Honestly, we're just kind of balling. We're just kind of hanging out. Doomed village, by the way. 
but I'm going with a. I, I like to use my my favorite colors a lot, so I'm trying to cook up something with uh with blue and yellow because I like blue and yellow, and then I'm trying to all like my favorite colors are blue, yellow, and purple. Uh, yeah, one bite won't hurt. That's fine. And so I always try to incorporate those three colors. I always try those three colors on the model first before doing anything else. And I am painting it manually with a paintbrush right now. This is like sanity, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm painting it manually with a paintbrush right now. Because while in the future, especially for like little ghost guys like the Chain Rasps, where you gotta paint like maybe 80 of them for your army... I don't know how many you need for like a standard night haunt list, but I assume like at least 20 or 40. And I've got like, I've just got 20 at this point, but like, you gotta paint a lot of these guys and they're like pretty mono, like they only have two poses, like each figure only has two poses. Or sorry, you get 10 in a box, there are six poses in the box. And the alternate pose because you get five poses in the box, and then you get to decide whether or not you want to have a champion or just a regular dude. And the regular, the champion overrides like a regular ghost, if that makes sense. So it's like, okay. If you, so there's six poses, but there's six unique poses, one of them is the champion. The champion does not have two unique poses, and the sixth ghost guy does not have uh, two whatchamacalls it, right? Uh, the, the champion guy only has one pose, and the sixth ghost who would replace the champion if you don't want a champion only has one pose. So, you know, you get six poses in the box, you're only using uh, you're only using five of them. Because I, is it one, no, it is, wait, is it one champion? No, I think it, you could, well, you would use all six, I guess, because I don't know if you can have two champions. Does Ghostly Spear work? Ghostly Spear works, but you know what would be funny? If we could cast Ghostly Spear, but it didn't do damage. And now I'm just thinking about if we got into a fight with, um, okay, so hear me out for the, Hear, hear me out here, all right? If you got into a fight with Azkana, with a cult, uh, a cult signs and ghostly spear, or a, or any spell that just takes your max health so you can just cast it forever, right? Uh, Oter I think I know something truly evil, but I'm pretty sure, sure Oteru as well. Oh, sorry. I'm pretty sure Oteru as well. We we have some decent stamina regeneration already. Let's let's foolproof ourselves to the lighthouse. I'm pretty sure Oteru and something truly evil is uh, literally unlimited EXP because I know something truly evil. When you are we got lucky by the way. No no flood. Flood is the only thing that could stop Kana with a ghostly spear. If you go into an enemy that when you get them to half health they full heal then you can just keep casting that forever. That's literally a, a new uh, EXP infinite. So that's actually pretty cool. That's actually a, a fun concept. We didn't have a, a chance to play around it, but I, I think if you fish for that, I, it would probably take way too long to fish for, but it is uh, kind of interesting. Honestly, give me Arcane Grasp. We owe a lot to our magical spells. They're pretty nice. Uh, the forest is safe, so, I mean, I guess we'll just, we'll just go, you know? I mean, that's crazy. A ghost enemy being killed by my ghost spear? What is this, uh, the first crystal tower raid where Alliance, I think it's Alliance A, but, you know, one of the alliances, it's always the same alliance every time, gets turned into the Ghost Alliance and they can fight the Ghost Dullahan or whatever the suit of armor is called. I know they call I know one version of the mobs called a Dullahan. And then they're the only ones who can damage it. And then other people have to give me a cure! The little imp in the pot shouts. We actually still do have the lump of flesh, which is kind of funny. But just a, a nice little banter episode, honestly. Oh yeah, so the second thing I was doing 
uh, I, I, I did want to say this as well. So, um, a friend bought me a gift, and that gift was Space Marine 2, baby. So, honestly, I was thinking about doing, like, a Space Marine 1, like, bonus series, because it's only, like, a six-hour game, you know? I was thinking of doing, like, a Space Marine 1 bonus series, and then doing Space Marine 2, but... I just decided that I would rather just, like, enjoy Space Marine 2, like, single player. But there might be multiplayer. I actually... I don't know how to do the multiplayer in Space Marine 2. Because it's it does that thing that some games do, where it's like, okay, you are a, a character walking around a sort of, like, hub area where you do, like, missions... And you can invite your friends to do the campaign with you. That's not the part that I'm confused by. But there's like a team deathmatch multiplayer? Like where, like, it, it's probably in the hangar somewhere that I just completely missed. But like, I came back from my first mission and you know, everybody's like clunking around, walking around cause we're giant ass space Marines. And I'm just wondering, like, I, I kind of wanted to play some Team Deathmatch. I mean, I'll happily play the campaign. The campaign's really good. But I will say, just a little bit, that I really want... I was really looking forward to the, to the Team Deathmatch. I mean, we're full health. We can just up our strength, because it's funny, I guess. But hello, hi! My dog making a cameo in the in the World of Horror video, as she is wont to do. Oh, she's activated now. She's going for the window, folks. It might be so Jover. I'm trying to hold back the dogs of war, but I don't know how much longer I can hold on. The dogs of war might let slip. Pretty crazy, honestly. So, I mean, the thing is, there's literally, like, even if we died, there's nothing the game could do to stop us. Um... I don't know, it was like sailors, right? Yeah. I mean, it, it really doesn't matter. Like, there's there's literally nothing that the Like, this could go the worst possible way, and we would still... We're basically guaranteed to win, because it's like we would die, Doom would go up by 5. We're, we're at 70 Doom, it's completely fine. So, I don't know how the hell Kana was able to, to get three allies, by the way. That's still perplexing me, because Mizuki with seven charisma can't get what Kana can get with six. People playing favorites, I guess. Kana's the childhood friend. Everybody, everybody knows Kana. Kana was always there for uh, school ally A, B, and C when all three of them most needed Kana. It's true. So I am playing it a little close with this one. Uh, I need to render it pretty, qu pretty quick, pretty fast. But we're just gonna. We we can do. I think we can do a Pokey Doku. I, I think we can do a Pokey Doku. My dog seems okay with just being pet getting pets for now and uh well dragon normal oh shit normal mythical the hell what do you even mean dragon water that's we we learned that that was palkia okay we we know what a dragon water is a dragon fighting type? Uh, that is Zapdos. That is Galar Zap- No, no. Z Zapdos is not a- Zapdos is not a dragon. Um. I don't know. What if, like, Rayquaza Mega was a, dra was a dragon fighting type? That would go kind of crazy. Mythical Water? I don't know. Is that, like, Volcanion or something? I don't know what event Pokemon are. I, I, don't, I don't know what event Pokemon are. G-Max Water? I mean, we can do, like... Uh, no. Um... Inteleon G-Max. Normal Dragon. Was that, like... Wait, 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 Oh, oh, I remember the shape of it, but I don't remember the name. It wasn't... I don't think it was Drampa, right? I don't think it was Drampa. Oh god, what was it? I I vaguely remember it, because we've gotten this before and we failed it every single time. Oh dear. Oh goodness. 
Uh, today's puzzle. Oh, there's a bonus. But it doesn't say... I mean, it looks like this is somebody's happy birthday, but, uh... Dragon fighting. Mythical fighting. Uh, Urshifu. Totally, right? Totally, right? I don't, I don't, I don't even know it could be a mythical fighting type. I mean, I'm just gonna guess it, right? Ooh. That's bad. Uh, we'll, we'll do Drampa, why not? Because we, we already messed it up. Okay, Drampa was, okay, Drampa, I remembered. Uh, normal mythical. I don't know, um... Odd Dino? No, 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 there's no way. There's no way, there's no way, there's no way. Uh, I guess we can try to fish for what, like, a fighting dragon would be. Uh, Duragon. Reggie Drago. Duraladon. Bro looks like a skyscraper. Gudra Hisui. If Gudra throws hands, color me impressed, alright? I, I'm pretty sure Darkrai is a mythical Pokemon, but that's, like, the extent of my knowledge here. Oranguru. Taros, Paldea, Blaze, Aqua. Taros. I know this is a fighting type, but I don't know if it's a dragon type. What about the dog? You think the dogs are dragon fighting or like dragon steel for the shield one? I don't know their names anyways, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I think what we can do is how about we do iron? <laughs> Uh, probably not. I, I I gotta say I I I have no idea. I probably gotta send it on something, right? You know what? What if Rayquaza turns into a fighting type? Because I know that they can gain types when they go Mega Evolution, right? Mythical, normal? I don't know. Uh. Victini. Probably like a psychic type or something. Uh, mythical fighting? Uh, we can do, uh, punch. Uh... Well, if we needed a, a normal fighting type, I'm pretty sure that's a little punny. But I don't have any, I don't have any puns for this situation. Uh, this is awful. This is rancid. Fighting G-Max form? Is there, like, a Machamp? Yeah, there's a Machamp. Normal? Uh, Meowth? Yeah, there we go. Long Cat. Almost made an H. So, what the hell? Como? Oh, Karyodon! I could've gotten it. Arceus is a mythical? I thought Arceus was a legendary, my mistake. And then fighting mythical is something called Marshadow. Caldeo, that's what I was thinking of. There was a horse. I was thinking of a horse that was a fighting dragon and it's like, uh, or sorry, a fighting, um, oh no, a fighting mythical, I'm dumb. For some reason, I feel like if I saw Keldeo, I could have, I could have put it together. I feel like I could have done it. Well. Did we get any of them right? I mean, we got Drampa right, but that's literally a 50-50, I guess. And we got Machamp G-Max right. But these are the most common, you know, so it's not really like... Uh, let's check bonus. Bonus puzzle, one year anniversary of Poki Doku. Okay. Psychic flying? That's a, uh, Zatu? A, a, I mean, close. Flying can learn Psychic. Probably you. Flying first in evolution line. Um, uh, Starly. Psychic can learn fly. Ooh, okay. Probably shoulda. Monotype psychic? Oh, Ralts isn't a, uh, gotta be Espeon, right? 
can learn Psychic Monotype, because I'm pretty sure the Gardevoir line is a uh, fairy now, like a Psychic Fairy. Can learn Fly, can learn Psychic, terrifying. Can learn Fly first in Evolution line. Well, that should just be like a Pidgey, right? This is like the you fool, you fell for it, the Thundercross split attack. Can learn Fly, can learn Psychic. I'm pretty bad with moves, but like I can assume. What do, what do, what do we do like a um a, a Galar of some kind? What do you, what do you think Artic What do you think Articuno is, huh? I think it's like Psychic. Let's do it. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Now, I'm trying to think of uh, psychic types that could learn fly. I think I might have owned myself here, because, you know, I'm not entirely sure. Monotype can learn psychic. Uh, what about uh, Kadabra? Monotype first in evolution line. Oh, uh, well, we could go uh, psychic, but we can actually rep Wismer, because it's monotype first in evolution line. So... Now it's just for what psychic type can learn fly. This is a little bit scary. There, there isn't a um. Oh wait, 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 wait! No, 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 it's not. Uh, Latias, right? Hey, look at that! We did the bonus. Now, let's see what the, uh, the most common was. So, Zatu, Zatu. Oh, Sigilyph! Okay. And then Abra's, Kadabra's, Mew. Oh, Mew can learn fly? I did not know that. And then least common was... Oh, we could have done Latias Mega? That, that could have been fun. Darman... Darmiton Galar Standard goes crazy, by the way. Now, we got Wismer at 0.3%. How many people chose Wismer? 46 people. I am among 46 blessed individuals who like our, our little pink friend Wismer. You know, I think... I. I, I think I figured out one of the reasons why I like Wismer so much. Bro is Kirby Kirby coded. Shaped like a friend for sure. Like, take away the ears, that's Kirby. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Have a good one. Bye.